Well, tonight, you can go on a spooky adventure, if you dare, with the site of history just up the road in Anson. KTAB's Kathleen Barkley learns about the history of the Anson Opera House and why paranormal investigators are taking a closer look. Hey, thanks, Stacey. That's right. Now, a very exciting opportunity for you to come to Anson and see if maybe the old Anson Opera House is haunted. Now, I'm here to find out some more. Tell me a little bit, first of all, about the Opera House. Well, it was built in 1907. They had plays there and wrestling matches there, and it was said to be the nicest opera house between El Paso and Fort Worth the time it was built, and evidently was used a lot, and people came from, you know, all around to attend. And they are coming to check to see if the opera house has ghosts. So, on the 24th of August, so I guess we will, they came, I'm not sure if it's the same group, but there was a group that came once before, and they did say they found, uh, well, I don't know if they actually saw a ghost, but strange things, you know, <laughs> in the opera house. Uh, things moving on their own, and I heard breathing on the stairs, and things like that. So, you know, we'll see this time when they come if, uh, if we really are haunted or not, so. And we talked earlier before about the Anson Lights. The Anson Lights, this is an interesting story because growing up here there were no Anson Lights when I graduated from high school. I met a girl when I was living in Irving that graduated from ACU and she said, oh, you're from Anson. We used to go over and see the Anson Lights. And I said, what are, I don't know what you're talking about. I grew up there and she said, oh, there's out on the road by the cemeteries where it is, I don't know, that you can see strange lights. And she told me that the rumor for them was some lady had lost her son and she had a lantern looking for him. Now that happened since 1960. Somehow that got started and I really don't know. <laughs> but it's been good. You know, we've been written up in magazines about it and all the college kids now come over in the fall and because we have a farm out there east of town and they're parked all up and down the road looking at the ants and lights, so maybe between that and it'll bring <laughs> bring more people into Anson. Hopefully. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Again, you have the chance to come out to the Opera House on August 24th and see maybe if you can find something haunted out here in Anson. Stacey, back to you. All right. Thank you, Kathleen. If you would like to come out for the ghost hunt tonight, it will be at the Anson Opera House at 1120 11th Street in Anson from 8 p.m. until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Tickets are $69 per person. And for more information or to get your tickets, if you dare, you can go to hauntedrooms.com.